government. And we have come to a point where we have actually elected people who have forgotten this basic concept, and that is the government that can give you anything you want can also take away anything from you, everything. including everything from you, including your freedom. And that's the, that's the great danger of this, this insidious, creeping bureaucracy where the government inserts itself into all kinds of different businesses. The founders would have been outraged at what you've just described, and even people uh, from not so many generations before us would say, that is impossible, that could never happen in America. And so we see this continuously growing government, and if you take a look at where we're spending money, it's just absolutely amazing. And, and you've got a, here's an example, this is, this is a, a town that is supposedly almost uh, bankrupt, uh, I think it's Pawtuxet, Rhode Island, if I remember right. Pawtuxet, Rhode Island. The city on the verge of bankruptcy spends $550,000 in stimulus money for a skateboard park. Now, what in the world is the federal government doing, doing bicycle racks in D.C. and million-dollar neighborhoods, skateboard park somewhere else? It, we're putting it all in here and claiming somehow it's going to make unemployment better, and yet the numbers are going nuts. The president, it seems, what's going on with the White House press corps? He claims they've just created 150,000 jobs, and yet you see the data going. We're already at 9.7 percent, and it, it's my understanding when you jump to the next big tax they're talking about, they want to be like Spain. And Spain has the enviable 17.5 percent unemployment. Is that where we're going?